We're on. It's official. What's going on, guys? Cruising Podcast. Doing? We're very happy to welcome uh, a legend guest, right now. Right? Our second no guest legend, back with the new bro. setup. The no the the legendary <laughs> Farage. <laughs> welcome back on, man. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be back. Yeah, la- it's, it's been, been a long time. Yeah, the last time we had you on here was for what? Godfather. Uh-huh. The third, uh, the, the oh, third coda. Yeah, with yeah. a coda. That's right. When yeah. was that? That's it had uh, to it been mid pandemic last year, like 21. Was it 21? Maybe. I don't remember. It might have been like 21 when that coda came out. Oh, oh coda. Oh, my God. God. No yeah, idea. no, yeah. I have 20. no idea. But it's good to have you back, man. Pleasure to be back. And, and we're here. Euphoria, the, the season finale. It's done. So I binged that whole show in two yeah, weeks. Yeah, when did you start? Two weeks ago. Well, yeah. so you got everything fresh. Yeah, that's, that's good. Lot. Which I don't recommend for anybody <laughs> to binge that show. How was that show is heavy. Yeah, that show is heavy. Like going you, from this is one, one of the shows you definitely need to like watch on a Sunday. Wait the wait week, a week. Yeah, watch another show. Like, especially I mean, this season, right? Especially this season. But like yeah. even like I mean, just as a whole, like it's just very like it's a lot. It's a lot. You could definitely get in like your own head about like the mm. whole show and like. It just doesn't trigger good emotions, you know. Yeah. Like you just, yeah. it's not a very healthy, mentally yeah, healthy yeah. show. But it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's still very, it's very like it's yeah. very raw. It's I very guess. Raw. Yeah, like it's very know. different from what I'm used to watching. Mm. And so it was new, and and obviously like the storylines and everything is is, is very exciting. Yeah, yeah. Continue. I'm just, <laughs> just fixing it. Just fixing. <laughs> um. That, but yeah. That, no. The storylines and stuff was like it's some um, completely unique and and obviously a a facet of life that is a little bit foreign. Mm. But is very much present, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. So that's what a lot of people were saying about the show. It's so it, it brings that re- awareness, awareness, to that. and and something you just you know push aside. I think this show will do a better job than Dare. That's what everybody's like, been saying. Yeah, like, like instead of those videos like, that people watch that don't do anything, yeah. this is this is like a you reality that could happen and, to yeah, you, right? Genuinely. Um. So you binge it in two weeks. That's a lot. Because especially lot, this dude. season, I was glad that. We were watching it weekly because, man, some episodes... So much. Especially episode five of this yeah. season. Yeah, yeah. Like, you need a break. Yeah. Like, you need to just, like, Whoa. like let the week pass. 100%. And then you can feel it because in episode six, it feels like a recovery yeah. episode. Yeah. So that's how it felt for us because we waited the week. But I would imagine binging it is probably just... Bro, it's almost like when you binge a show and then you finally, I guess, catch up and then you have to wait. Mm-hmm. It's very different. Like, the pace changes so much because, like, you... You binge, 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 and then you realize, okay, there's like an end to it. So like now when the show ended, yeah. I was like, there's no more, there's no nothing more. else to binge. Yeah. And like you just, you kind of, I mean, I, I don't, I guess the point I'm getting at is like, it's just, it was a lot mm. in the two week period. You're watching two, three shows, maybe a day or a night or whatever, and wrapping it up. It was just, it was a lot. Yeah. That's the thing with binging. It's like there's lot. certain shows that you probably shouldn't binge. Yeah. It's like, I, you I could, definitely yeah. feel like this is one, this of, them. one of them. I mean, we re- sure. watched season one. Yeah. While watching each week season two, oh, okay, and that was like a lot, but it helped us, you know, just get that refreshment. Yeah, one w- season one wasn't that bad. Season exactly. two just like it took it up another lo- a level. Yeah, more. and that's that. That's what <laughs> I wanted to get into, especially with this finale, yeah. right? Like crazy finale. Uh, obviously, there's gonna be spoilers. So yeah, I if mean, you're watching, yeah. this, now would be the time to cut. Yeah, it get off. out now, but <laughs> just very interesting. I have like a lot of questions too. Right. You know, right. a lot of people people have. A lot of questions as yeah. far as like with Rue and yeah. so what about that? So Sunday for a while. So. Yeah, two years. Two uh, years? They said season three is going to be 2024, God which damn. seems reasonable. Wow. That seems reasonable. Wow. You got to film it. And this is a I mean, show this that. This is beginning of 2022. So that's like a long time. Yeah, it's like two, you know? That's two full two years. Two full years. Yeah. That's, that's it makes sense though. I mean, this show has a lot. No, but I think also lot. too uh, with scheduling. scheduling. Scheduling with the actors. Yeah. Because yeah. they got so much going on. That's a hard show to do you, you got know? a lot of good actors in that show and a lot of young actors that have now exploded because of the show yeah angus yeah you know, yeah he he um he was on the he was very he was not a i don't want to say he was a minor role in season one but it, he wasn't as uh like prominent prevalent. yeah yeah he was yeah. like a you know kind of like a backstory that they build on in season two but if you listen to his origin it was like he thought it was a scam when somebody approached him and asked him if he wanted so to be crazy yeah. for you he was literally about to move back to i think new zealand or australia back home and before he got like the hey do you want to be on euphoria he's like nah it's a scam yeah he was like walking new york yeah, or he's something walking like new that york, yeah. yeah that's so crazy dude and then you he see him euphoria, now yeah now he's he's, he's, he's a, a fan celebrity. favorite yeah he's he's especially with season two 
and the last episode, obviously, like yeah. oof. the whole, that ashtray. I, that's thing. one of my questions I have is like that whole situation. Yeah. Like what happens next? What you know? I was telling Josh about this when, <laughs> when the, it ended. I was yeah. like, I, I, I don't, I, 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 I'm not bothered by it, but a little part of me was like, I, I let it go, but yeah. I was a little bothered by the ashtray stabbing this guy in the neck. Yeah. Um, a little part of me, it was like, I let it go. Right. Yeah. But a little part of me was like, that seemed a little problematic. Let's elaborate a little bit, you know, like, why do you feel it was problematic? Because ashtray is obviously <laughs> smart, right? Like right. he knew what this guy was trying to do. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. a smart kid. He realized he's it. emotional. Yes, but he's smart. But, and Faye, the blonde girl that yeah. we, you know, where she came in clutch. Yeah. I love that scene where she Yo. just just like, don't say anything. That yeah, was, was so good. Yeah, and she was also like, uh, yeah, you told me it was so and so. Yes, did. like that so scene she was could setting have, like, the up. next sequence mm-hmm. of events could have easily been avoided. Yes, that that's where I that's where I got a little, and then so they were working together, right? Like uh, Fez wasn't saying anything; she yeah. was just saying that, like trying yeah. to screw him over. Yeah, and Ashtray is listening to this, but he was looking at him, and I'm sure he was pissed because it, like you're trying to sell us out. Yep. Completely understand he was, that. She was very mad, and. But to stab him in the neck, I don't know about that. I no, feel like it, he would have kicked was, his ass. It, it was the the, the timing. Yeah. Of the when timing, he too. Yeah. It was like they were in the clear. Yeah. Like, like, done. Like, like he's getting, she's helping him get yeah. out of this. And he just, uh, one, like, po- one thing I didn't understand was what the phone was. The phone on a phone call? Was it on, like, a, a recording? What Like, because yeah. if it was a recording, it could have easily hacked into the phone, destroyed the recording, or just destroyed the phone altogether. Yeah. You know? It had like once they killed him, but what I didn't understand right. was what happened from the phone, uh, like from him being stabbed, to the police showing up at the door. Like, how did that? Somebody called the police. Or that part I didn't understand. Was he already? Were they listening in already really through listening the phone? In. Yeah, that's yeah, what I, they, that's they were. They, they, they tapped yeah. into a phone. Already. Yeah, yeah, because he they was were listening. His mouth. Yeah, 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 they were listening on the phone. And, Interesting. And, and the cops were outside already waiting. Oh. So, but I guess they were trying to see if they can get that info. Confession, and then they'll and, bust through the door. Yeah. But then when he stabbed them and they weren't hearing anything. They're like, what just happened? Yeah, it just got And then that's worked. when they went in. Hmm. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay, that, that makes that's sense. actually a pretty reasonable explanation but to what happened. now I'm like, but <sighs> it was the timing of the stab. I was like, why would you because, do that? Because, it because stupid. He, he was kicking him out. That's it. You're in the clear. You, yeah, like, he's like, yo, like it's time for you to go. And then next thing you know, Ash just gets up. And you could literally, like Fez literally saying, no, no, no. Like, don't. why wouldn't you just listen to Yeah, you? No. like I, I, he could have just hit, like, you know. Or punched him. Punched him with, like, the back of his gun or something like that. Like, anything yeah. like that, right? Anything would have, would have, like, not have been as severe. Even to the cops. Like, oh, the cops, like, okay, this guy just beat his ass for assuming that. Yeah. You know, to come in here and try and set him up. That seemed a little. Like, it seemed like that would still fly even if I, the cops are like, listening. I feel like that mm-hmm. scene, he kind of hit a wall. Like, how can he, I kill Ashtray? He want, he needed to kill him off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, because the thing is, if, if Ashtray doesn't die... It's the same thing for season three. Yeah. But there were so many other re- like ways like where he doesn't have to die. Yeah. Like that part where he's just laying in the bathroom. Okay, you just get arrested now. But no, yeah. he had to shoot the cop. Yeah. In the chest. I, I but I like I guess the reason for that was that he didn't want to be alone. He didn't yeah. want to be yeah. in a world without his brother. Yeah. So he was like, yeah. fuck it. Like because yeah, because Fez didn't go to prison for a long time. Yeah. So he's like, fuck, I'm gonna go out. Well, I mean, Fez is still technically innocent. Mm-hmm. They can't really the, the guy I, being the most violent was Ashtray. So, like, if anything, no, but, but I feel like he still might. I don't maybe know. by association, but then I don't think that charges as. I mean, I'm not he, a lawyer, so <laughs> I don't no, know if this charge it, would be that severe. Uh, yeah, he might not. I think that's what's going to be season three, right? Like, it's like him, him kind of like dealing with saving that. his brother almost in a way by taking the bullet. Is like now everything dies falls with him. with him. Yeah, and now Fez can now have that like. He's gonna plead his case or whatever. His brother's gone, so now he has a little bit more room to yeah. navigate that situation. Even, even you know, it helps his case that he caught a bullet in yeah. the process. You know, yeah. And and um, and obviously, like with cops, I'm sure they were recording the whole situation, so it's like it, they can justify it that like, oh, this kid is clearly yeah, the one that he was in the clear. He was also mm-hmm. on his way out when all of this yeah. happened and transpired, and so, and the you know they heard. This girl, there again. It was going so well, yeah. And I was like, was going my really immediate well. like reaction really was like, why would he do that? Yeah, it's just that very was my rash. to kill him. Yeah, knowing like 
that's a big deal, right? Like yeah. with Cal early yeah. in the season, he didn't kill him. He uh, just kept head, you know, head, but you know, yeah. hitting him in the head with the yeah. shotgun. Um, I guess they tried to show that he was a hothead in that moment. Like, hey, he's like a hothead. He's which hard makes to listen sense. to, which makes sense. But like, even in this situation, the long term success for them would have been to beat his ass, not necessarily beat his ass and kick him, him out. Yeah. yeah. And then, okay, then the police raid, but what? They have no nothing. proof. Even in the audio, it's like, hey, like, uh, so and so was the behind the murder, and that would have been the reason, like the more logical ending. But yeah. it's not the ending with Ashtray dying, and yeah. I think this this writer Sam Levinson wanted him to die. Yeah. I think for so, so character for yeah, so, so that, Fez uh, to yeah, get for, out of that for business Fez to like move on. Yeah, because if Ashtray lives, it, it's it's the gonna same be them cycle. two, them two, them two. Yeah, it's true. And good point. But it's like well, Spender uh, was the grandma just sleeping. The, the grandma's whole time. still knocked out there in the bed. Oh, yeah, they're all gunfire. She's still I didn't there. even. <laughs> the whole they're, war zone. Grandma's just knocked. Out. This guy's shooting through the door. They're, they're redoing the whole house, and she's still in bed. They're like, redoing the house. Well, yeah, she's yeah, she survived all that. But, <laughs> but I, I had to step back. Like I, I feel like I, that would like I mean even for your grandmother's still alive. So like you, on like some mental note, you don't want to like. Why would you jeopardize what you guys yeah, have kind of like going on? Him for killing, that um, like him killing mouse, mouse, which they revealed in this season, yeah. this episode one, how yeah. he killed him. Yeah. That makes sense because he knows this guy's a loose cannon. Yep. He's gonna kill us anyway because yep. we don't have his money and and we gotta take him out because this yeah. guy's gonna get us killed. Yeah. That makes total sense. Yep. And Fez went there to try to talk to him and he just went for it. Yep. But it makes it was the logical move. And he had to. He made. It the, seemed the, like the it right. was, things were leading up to that. Yeah, like something it was, was going to happen with that guy. The guy he was, was out just, of control. The guy was yeah. He was, he was out doing of control. a lot, and, and he wanted yeah. harder drugs in, in in the city, in the town, and it Fez was. Didn't he was want pushing that. that boundary where either Fez was going to do something, or like they were going to do something to yeah. Fez, and it was going to blow into something else. Like that made sense. It was getting to that point. That made sense to me, but not the. This didn't make much sense. I I let it go. I still enjoyed the episode. I hope they answer the questions in the. And next also, I'm sure and they also will. what kind of took me out too was the way the cop opened the door. I yeah, I didn't really he buy that. Like, like, like of his guard. Yeah, yeah. like 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 That's in right. a real situation, a cop would never take his eyes off the guy. At all. Yeah. Like, especially when you don't see any wounds on him or anything. Yeah, especially you just fucking shot. Well, you're gonna keep. Yeah, you're gonna keep your gun kind of. Pointed at the suspect and, on the and, off yeah. chance that and, and, he reaches, and also, and also the yeah. way he the way he opened the door, the way and all that, like it was very non tactical. Yeah, yeah, like, it was. And like they were tactical like the whole way. Like, hey. <laughs> and they, they were tactical the whole way through. Yeah, you know, so you had the guy like, like dodging the bullets, yeah. and all of a sudden, this is the same guy that pulls up, opens yeah. the door with his gun down. And I get it; he wanted him to have like that send off, but it was one of those things. Well, you're like, right; like yeah. you don't know what's behind that door. The guy could easily have just mm-hmm. been waiting for you to open that door. You don't go into that door just very yeah. lax. Exactly. It's very, that's the loophole, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I don't know if I that's like this anymore. Yeah, but okay, no, but that point it, was very like it, yeah. it, there's you a can lot of see questions them in that. Like, like, the thing pushing is, I've, that. I've seen like a lot of like videos and stuff, like, like real people like doing that yeah. stuff, and it's like that's not how you do that. Y- you never just walk straight line to a yeah. door, knowing the guy just shot through the door. Fucking, like, he has a fucking like yeah, he has a, he shot unlimited a ammo in yeah, there because it's just like yeah, yeah, that that. Though those that's, the, a little, that's a little tricky. Yeah. yeah, the ashtray thing was not to take away from the episode. No, so yeah, great, but like like you guys are saying, it's just Th- those little questions were, were in reference to the ashtray thing. Like yeah. you can tell, like they needed to do that, mm-hmm. um, and they kind of forced it to happen. Yeah, it felt forced. Yeah, because it felt Fez forced. has to lose everything. The grandma, him, so he can move on out, maybe with the whole Lexi thing. Yeah, like start a new life. Start yeah. a new life makes total sense. Yep. But I feel like the ashtray it's thing was a little crazy that this is based in like high school, pretty much. Yeah. Well, well, he's right. not really in high school. Fez he's not. No, I'm saying like the whole the group, the yeah. group environment. Like, what did they really like? What do you think? They really they think Fez was gonna have a relationship with Lexi, and then that like mm. blossoms into like a you know like he's that like they had that moment of like we're gonna have our own farm and stuff. Like right. this is like it's like typical stuff you say when you're in high school, but it really doesn't materialize into right. you know. And now I think well, I don't know like, that's gonna be his arc. You know where. He hit rock bottom, right? Yeah. Like that was his turning point. Now I mean, he's he was going doing to the everything court. for his brother. Yeah, and now he doesn't have his brother anymore. So now, where does he like? Does he still like he? That has to turn you cold in in some aspects to the things that were once yeah. good to you. You know, like even if he wants to show up fully for Lexi, like I feel like there's enough emotional damage now to the point where he might not even right. be open to that anymore. 
And he's going to be going through all the court stuff. I think yeah, that's going to be sure going to cover thing. that in season three. And I think if he gets out of that, which I'm sure he will, that's going to be his arc where he's going to just want a new life type yeah. of thing. Um, 100%. That was like that one little thing. The second thing was this thing with Rue and, and Laurie, that drug dealer lady yeah. that she owes money to. They just kind of just... What happened? <laughs> yeah, I just forgot she about it. She owes a her money. money. Yeah. And she tried to drug her. Well, she did drug her, but she tried to keep her there to s- yeah. send, sell her. Oh, yeah, because yeah. what's weird is that because uh, after episode five, it does a little time jump. Like I think like a month, right? There's like a month or two month time jump. So it's kind of like... Where she's like recovering. Yeah, but but... The thing is, she didn't have to pay her by the end of the month. So that's where it gets, like, yeah. really weird. It's interesting. Unless the judge is kind of just like, fine, just let her go. Yeah, but they never showed her again. Never unless that's season three stuff. That might be. But, I mean, that has to be season three. They have to cover it at some point. Yeah. Because they just kind of left the fact that, okay, now the drugs in the suitcase are flushed. She's gone and she said, I don't have the money. I don't and have the rest. Don't yeah, have she the was rest. only able to give her a few. Th- yeah. yeah, she's sure, like, what, like 5000 or something? Yeah. yeah. Unless sure. the lady just didn't care, but, but there should have been like, a scene she, of that. But but the thing with you know with drug dealers and things like that, they tried to show her as like the calm, crazy lady. Like or, she's psycho, but she's gonna be that calm, like hey, you know, you're a kid, whatever. But like yeah. I need my money. And she's threatening, yeah. Or, even if it's five k, like as a drug dealer in every single show, they show you as like. And she did even if say it's a, that. a dollar, they're like, I'm gonna get my dollar. And she did say that in that episode to Rue, like if you don't. Give me this money and this plan that you s- you're saying I can sell you to really bad people. Yeah. Or so what what it could be for season three with the whole thing with Fez that's gonna connect because this chick mentioned Lori. Yeah. And 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 and, and that girl wants to kind of like help out Fez. Yep. She might mention Lori as the one who killed. Maybe Mouse. it might be a love triangle with uh, Faye and uh, Lexi there. Oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, I don't want that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Faye just threw her boyfriend under the bus. Yeah, he was being a dick. Like, yo, you're though. lying. Yeah, yeah he was. And being then an her asshole. boyfriend just died, and she didn't like shriek nothing. Like she was yeah, quiet the whole time. He was an time. asshole. Like, he left her there, right? Yeah. And he never went back for her. And yeah. then he comes back saying all the cops. Like and f- Fez was treating her really well. Yeah. And, and I feel like Faye might mention, oh, it was Lori who killed Mouse and all that. Yeah. And oh, Ashtray is the one that killed him, not Fez. You know, the guy, the the the, the with the knife. And there's going to yeah. be that momentum there. And, and maybe and that connects cops, with Rue. Yeah. Maybe Rue gets entangled maybe. with that Laurie. Because, maybe. I mean, she owes her money. For sure. So maybe right now she's recovering. Life's good. Yep. But you still got to pay for those consequences yep. of how but you react. I reacted. wonder, though, Very where are they going to take Nate's character in season three? Where is he? Because uh, I, I, I kind of feel like his character kind of arced at the end there. I, like I, I was also curious about what they're gonna do with him now. Like, what's the point I, of his? Because I, I, like I say, like I feel like what else? Co- I mean, I guess the whole thing with we did a Maddie, and the fact that the guy put someone in jail. Like, yeah, that season he one. He put his own dad in jail. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah but now season one, he put that kid in jail. Him and Maddie. Oh, put, that's right. Yeah, they lied <laughs> about him. Yeah. That's a big deal. That guy's still Huge in jail. Deal. That guy's in that jail. Guy's still right? in jail. Guy, I mean, I mean, he was a. Uh, it was what twenty one. Maddie was like seventeen. What was it? He was like, I, I never really got that. Like they really like they they really because I I didn't really get it because there yeah, was they got video, but there was video back. of them clearly just they're fine. Like yeah, having like, consensual yeah. sex. Yeah, yeah. So I never really understood that. I never really got it because there but, was a bunch of video. But they forced him to maybe confess. It, maybe yeah, maybe it was also the fear of him being like because th- he didn't really confess to the yeah that part. He rape. showed up. They didn't really show well, it, but the, he's like, I have a confession. Quote, unquote, rape. Yeah, yeah, he's like, I have a confession. Guy. And the then you see him in jail. Pussy. Oh, yeah. That guy was such yeah. a pussy. He just and, like and, but the cops were, they, they were skeptical of it in season one. I remember yeah. when he confessed, they were like, mm, this seems weird. Mm. So yeah, and then they verified it with Jules because he probably blackmailed Jules to yeah. go into the, uh, and say that uh, this guy was the one doing it. I saw yeah, like that's got to come back, right? That's got to come yeah, back. Yeah, because I, I notice sometimes with... Or maybe that's just with, like the story for with, 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 uh, with the Sam, right. like he kind of like gets a little that messy. Sucks, but that is yeah. He, he does get a little messy with the storytelling a little bit. Yeah. It, it, it kind of like, for example, uh, in the last episode, yeah. um, there was a scene with Lexi and Rue talking about the play. Yeah. Yes. I was like, wait a minute, how was this in the play... If she hasn't oh, yeah. like seen when it, when yeah. Lexi, when he's like, I, 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 seeing your play was like the most beautiful thing, and yeah. then, but you know, the shot went from that to the play, like if they were watching, yeah. like if that so was how in the was play, that a part of the, yeah, exactly, if they're talking yeah. about the play, yes, yeah, so so I guess they had those jumps in the, sh- they, I mean, they've had them throughout the entire show, and like you're saying, I guess it's just way of storytelling. Yeah, like is that like, is, I guess you have to take it as like it's like this artsy thing, 
And yeah. but I I just don't understand how was like how does this I'm just I'm also like in, in, in terms of like shows and movies, I'm not the biggest fan of the jump around also when it's not clear. You know and it's I mean? usually been clear, but the last two episodes. Yeah. But I mean, like in hard. shows in general, like yeah. when, they, when they do that, because ju- then your mind works a little bit extra. Yeah, yeah because so like, yeah. What's even during the play, the during the play, it was showing what happened after episode five. Yeah, no, yeah. or was it six? Five. No, it was yeah. after episode five. Yeah, but it was like mixing with the play, so I was like, "What the fuck?" Is yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Wait, like, okay, wait, is this present, like future? Yeah, yeah. Like, where yeah. are we right yeah. now? A lot like of that cool, got a little but, confusing. But it gets very messy. It's very messy sometimes. It got a little confusing. It's that, that the main part that confused me was the fact that they were talk. She was telling her about how beautiful the play was. It, she was it unless, was uh, unless, yeah. unless she read it and then he didn't specify. But no, it, it's, she says it like I seen watching your play. Yeah, like that's clearly post. <clears throat> unless, was unless that sounds like a part of the thing? play, or was that like even? I mean, I don't know. Right, yeah, I don't know. Unless that maybe that wasn't even part of the play. Yeah. Maybe that was just a shot of them and having that conversation, or just like unless it was like 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 a fake story. Them holding that, that, each that other. Lexi added. Yeah, maybe. That's where it just gets like super weird. Like, I don't oh, like no, that is a su- that is a question though. Like, That's like I guess you get to take it as like it's it's a, one of those like artsy things. You gotta just like let it go, just ride with know. it. I don't know. I don't know. But it, but it, that shit does kind of like. Cause it, cause it, it, it takes you me off. out. It yeah. takes me yeah. out. And, and, and if you really look through like Euphoria, it's like there's not really a scene that's like, like every scene kind of has a, a, a mission. Yeah. Like everything like is intentional. It's not, yeah. you know, it's very rare for them to kind of like not make it like the intent of a scene to kind of find either it's something in the future or it's yeah. like relating something to the past. It all connects kind of, or it all makes sense. And so that, but that is a very, it was like a standoffish moment that really didn't connect to anything. You it off. didn't really, uh, you know, bring something else in other than just like seeing Rue connecting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a very. It was Those were the two main things that just threw me out of the episode yeah. a little bit. Yeah. But other than that, everything else was great. I yeah, think dude. the scene with Cal and, and uh, Nate was really good. Yep. They a huge closure on yep. that arc. Um, I the the whole Maddie and Cassie thing on stage <laughs> and Lexi. I you think Lexi looking. that was. The whole reality TV format that they had going on, the camera moving and the slapping, they're yelling at each other. Yeah. That, I love that reality TV yeah. footage style yeah, yeah, that yeah, they yeah, did. Yeah. And that's just his little nod to yeah. like reality TV. Or, um, what, what, uh, this guy singing to Rue. That shit went off like for five minutes. Oh, yeah, minutes. Elliot uh, singing to oh, Rue. Yeah. That went a little long. Everybody yeah. was like... It, like it, it was good at first. I was like, all right. Can but we people like, were like, but he was literally repeating the chorus like three, four three times. times. Yeah. You know, so it was a little long, a little long. It was a little long. Mm-hmm. After a while, I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, what's yeah? Can we get on with the show? Please? Yeah. Like, you look at the runtime and it's like 59 minutes. Yeah. I don't want to be wasting it was my like time four minutes it. of yeah. that. And it was a little awkward after a while because I was like, OK, like there's more lyrics, but then he'll repeat the chorus again. Chorus and again. you whatever the, <laughs> lyric, the chorus was. And I was like, oh, OK, we're still going. And he repeated that like three, four times. <laughs> yeah, it, it kind of like, was, was a little like, long. It was a little too I, long because it was it was getting kind of awkward because like we we're just on Rue watching him. And a pa- like almost pause with all the other storylines that are going on simultaneously. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that, that and I scene. feel even Rue's acting like Zendaya's acting. I feel like you after, could, it's, a while. It's, after a while, it's like, what else am I supposed to feel here? This is kind of awkward. It was a little long. Yeah. But a part of me thinks that maybe it was to show how much he wrote. Yeah, and how much he cares, and yeah. then like when he was like, "Oh, and that's I'm not really done yet," and maybe that was his way of being like, "This is how much he wrote. That's how much he feels. Yeah. Like he wrote this long of a song, and, and he's not even done more. yet." Yeah, maybe that's what he was going for. Yeah, but it's still yeah, funny. Yeah, but it's still yeah, funny. Yeah, you like know? like it's yeah, I get it. But it, the scene it's was still it, long. It, it, like it's still I think long. It, that was one of the scenes it, it where I tuned out a little bit. Like you know when you yeah, yeah, get to a lull in a show and you just you. Pull, pop up on your phone. Wait till that scene's over. And yeah. Yeah, 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 that's kind of what happened with me. Like, yeah, because that it was too long. It was too long. Yeah. It, it got, I get it got what really he was awkward. trying to do. Yeah. Right. I think it was just to show. Wow, look at this long thing that he yeah, wrote. Yeah, for but her. It, it, yeah. it was. But I get the intent, but it was a little long. Yeah. It was still long. I was like, I remember after a while, I was like, Yeah, yeah, because because uh, when he started saying the same shit, I was like, Oh my god, like, yeah. whoa, <laughs> get on with the show. Listen, <laughs> somebody said, Oh, Sam Levinson's really trying to get him a music career. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, but good. Um scene it was mm-hmm. it just i think it was a little long i yeah. think it was a little long and a lot of people clearly felt that way you go on it, twitter it, it, it got yeah. a little cringy it got a little that cringy yeah. i know i i've never really been a big fan of that of type like of singing like, to you type like singing to some yeah, yeah I, I was like felt weird about that like yeah. it, just, it gets very weird that's how i felt I was like oh okay we're doing this i was like fine and like, then i like, saw how what, long what was it was he trying I was like, to do there? like what, what were you trying like 
I don't get all good. He was just singing a song about her, yeah. and, you know, and what it was nice, sweet. You're you know? a fucking addict. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a rock song. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like a fucking what did pop you think? rock. Was it good? No, 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 no. But he's like performing. He's like, ah, it's like blood. It's like Rue like, just like yeah. for four minutes straight. Yeah, just, he's, like, oh. he's like, what do you think? His hair is all messy. He's like, yeah. um, no, but. Other than that, though, the the, the, <laughs> the play itself, Lexi's play was awesome. Yeah, yeah it was the, done really the well. Cassie going on stage and with Lexi and the mom coming in. So you can almost, you can so good. See the, I, I think this is the end of the sixth. Ep- what was the seventh? What was the last episode? Was it eight? This one was eight. eight last right. one was so seven. So seven. So at the end of seven, you can see her. Oh, that switch. the glass. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. the switch. And then obviously, when eight starts, you can just she's she has no holds bar. Like Cassie's crazy. She's like lost that, right? it. Yeah. Like in, in the, she's like very emotional. And I yeah. guess they lead up to, like they do very good in the show with character development. Yeah, like her slowly going crazy. Like and, yeah. and you get glimpses of it throughout in the, the episode. Throughout, yeah, like, throughout the, the show. episode throughout the show, and so like. It was very interesting. Like you look forward to like to see what she's gonna do. Let's how see, crazy let's she's see how get. crazy. Yeah, exactly. I and, love that to be continued like, that we yeah. got because that, that's like, yo, like she's gonna go fucking insane. Yeah, and, and you had that like with the because it was weird towards the end of that seventh uh, episode. You could just all you were hearing it was a visual of her obviously like with Nate storming off, mm-hmm. and it was just all you heard was her like, yeah, like you could. Like, she oh, went full she, crazy. She, yeah, she went and. Crazy. and a part of me, I'm a little sad by that because I love Sydney, Sydney Sweeney, Sweeney and Cassie's character, but yeah. I'm like, damn, she's off the deep end. Yeah. And I wonder where they take her. But like, it makes sense. I believe it. Yeah. You know, it's not like it's not like the ashtray thing where I was like, oh, that doesn't that it I don't went believe so that out of character immediately. Yeah. And at least well, the action, the action was, just, was yeah, out was of. Yeah. It didn't logistically it didn't make sense. Yeah. But Cassie going crazy makes total sense because yeah, in season one and throughout this season. Yeah. She just wants to be loved by somebody, and she no matter what, no matter with, the cost. Yeah. And the, even the fact when she goes on stage, right, yep. she's going crazy. She took that whole play, everything that we saw, and she just took it as, "Oh, you're just trying to humiliate me, me. only me." Yeah, like she's kind of self centered yeah. in that way, or she only took it as, as her "You thing, just yeah. you're attacking me." Like if she didn't, you know, make fun of like Maddie, Nate, or Nate, Nate the whole, you know, the whole segment of the weight room thing. Yeah, you know, it, was just, it was an attack on anybody, his everybody audience, else, right? everybody, right? Um, and it's not making fun of them. It's just that's what is. Yeah, and that's what was so cool because then you see Rue, but she Rue loved it because yeah. she got to see her kind of like all the shit she's been through, but yeah. from an outside perspective. Yeah. And she's like, oh, I'm just and another even human the being. Way the show ends is like, yeah, she remains sober till the end of her, that semester or whatever. So and like I was confused by like that a, too because there's a time jump. Yeah. So you clearly you've been yeah. fine, but what about this thing with Laurie and the drug deal and the money? Yeah. You know? Exactly. But I'm but sure also, they'll figure that out in season three. It also leads to like, like, okay, so you were sober till the end of the semester, but then what happens? Yeah. Is, is that alluding to like okay season no, three? Yeah, that's the, she's back yeah, that's the whole thing. Or like, she know. gets kidnapped or some shit by this drug. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Something's got to happen. I I think season three, season one is her um relapsing, like her re- being too emotionally reliant on yeah. Jules and then relapsing. Right. Yeah. Season two is the consequence of that of her just completely broken down, rock bottom. Right. I think season three now is her having to you know, fix and pay for those, con- like her actions in the yeah, past. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Like what she said, I have a lot of people to apologize to a lot of things to, I need to fix. Uh, you know, when she, that scene with yep, Ellie yep, before yep, the yep. whole concert. Yep. <laughs> um, but you know, and I think that season three is going to be like, like a redemption season where yeah. she, I don't think she's going to relapse again. I think it's going to be more about her having to now fix and pay for, her previous actions. Yeah. Or, I think that's going to be the theme of season if, what three. If he just doesn't bring that up again. No, he has to. No, he has He's brought to, up the CD sure. when we thought he wasn't going to um, do it. He, um, yeah, but the CD got resolved in one second. Yeah. The CD was instant. Like, okay, yeah, here's a CD and hey, USB. He, he gave it to uh, yeah. Jules and she broke it. That's it. Oh, and, and then he has the everything Laurie. on the USB? Yeah. It's like, oh, no, dude, what, what other that, copies that, you That's the other stuff of the dad. The dad, yeah. Yeah, to put his dad away. Um, Cause, I mean, yeah. How far was he gonna go? I mean, he threatened. That's. I mean, I don't think Nate's done because no. that's another. No, I mean, he's threatening Maddie with a gun. No, 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 he's not gonna be done. He's not gonna be done. You know? Yeah. Um, there's yeah, a lot but of that, stuff like here. that talks about like their toxic relationship, though. That's all that. that yeah, is. Yeah, because like, she, just she's not gonna she's do anything gonna, about she's it. Not gonna do anything about it. I did like that scene with her and Maddie in the bathroom 
where Maddie's like, he, you know, the funny thing about all this is when she's all beat up. Yeah. yeah. Like he's dumped me before that. And then Maddie was like, yeah, that's just the beginning. Yeah. It's just, so yeah, that was yeah, awesome. Savage. Like the shot, yeah, just the way it was shot and her acting. Yeah, like, yeah. She was like, mm-hmm. That's just, yeah. Deal with it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's basically what, uh, also like the, the scene of like, the, the, like, like you said, with going back to Rue a little bit, like mm-hmm. was the, like her redemption with the people that she cares about. Mm. These are the conversations she had with her mom. It's like, if I have to save one of you two, like my daughters, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to save her. Maybe and now she, yeah. you know, like imagine hearing that as a, as, as an addict. Yeah. Like if that doesn't set you back, like, yo, my mom doesn't, you know, it doesn't even matter what now I do. Now it doesn't matter. Yeah, it really doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. So like, I think that will definitely play a part in, in season three, in season right? Three, how What's she Gigi to up to? Uh, Gigi. Is it Gia or Gigi? Gia. I keep Gia. calling Gia. Gigi. Gia. What's Gigi? <laughs> Gia. No idea. Gia. <laughs> no idea what Gigi is. But Gia and like <laughs> her relationship with her mom, I think is going to be yes. very instrumental. In her trying yeah, to really, build I really that back. I really hope she doesn't like relapse again. No, no. I like, think she might. No. The way I, this I season like, ended, like it, yeah. the way this season ended, it ended on such a clean note. Yeah. Like, like Rue in those last two episodes, that's her. Like, she looks, she's glowing. Yep, yep, yep. That's the shot of her. The last shot is her that walking added out. glow. She says bye to Jules and yeah. she's walking out. And <laughs> that post, what? What did post you say? Add it glow. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Uh, but, you know. Up. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, but, like, she's clearly, like, healthier. <laughs> And when she's walking out of the school, <laughs> you know, she's walking out of the it's school. Very, it's it's very bright. It's like it's like a she's very really, holy, very yeah, pure, very peaceful. Very yeah. That's I guess they're she's trying ready to, to introduce. be a better person. And then, I think and at some point in season car, three man. she does. <laughs> <laughs> That's how season three starts. Yeah, she, was, she, was walking she was doing right so well, and now it's painkillers. It becomes like three. a sports uh, sports movie, you know, like <laughs> yeah. those recovering. <laughs> but no, it's true though. Like she, her walking out it's now, like her trying to be a better person, yeah. like recovering from that yeah she, we, she hit rock bottom and i think season three she's gonna be like almost like that ali figure you know just, ali just, the character I, I, I just feel like the thing with lori is gonna be like he's gonna bring it back up but it's gonna get like fixed within like an like an episode i think so too. because because what is she gonna go like what the, the mom's gonna go fucking john Bro, wick to go find the, her yeah. daughter i remember the whole fed when the whole fez and ash sequence was happening i'm like oh shoot the episode's about to end mm-hmm. and then i did the little you know to see where we're at and it's like halfway through the episode i'm like whoa <laughs> a lot is happening right now. Like, yeah. I, you know, that scene with, I'm like, okay, like Nate's also loading the gun. Where is he going to go? Is he going to, like, where's he going? Where's he going? Fez, yeah, or something. Fez also. It, like, where's he For going? No and then he's, he's going to, like, open the door and, like, it'll either be, like, Fez or somebody and then, the, like, the credits. Yeah. Right? That's what I thought was happening. But then I, I scrolled and I saw the time. I'm like, dude, it's halfway. You, like, fast forward a little bit? It's like <laughs> half, this is, like, half of the show. Like, what, like so, the, like, in yeah. my mind, I'm like, they're not going to go, they're not going to show what happens to Ashtray. And they're not going to show where Nate's going. In my mind, that's what was going yeah. on. And uh, and I don't know why I thought it was the end of the show or like close to the end. But it was just so much was happening in that moment. That's usually like how you yeah, end a season like, if you oh, were shit. to end a season. Yeah. And uh, then everything like happened. And I was like, yo, this is like a lot. Yeah. This and a lot. Because you had like a very high moment in the middle. And then everything else is like a little bit more emotional. And, and you, you left like the Maddie and Cassie You left scene. us on such a cliffhanger in episode yeah. seven yeah. too. Yeah. You know. Yeah. The, cl- the episode said was a huge cliffhanger. Yeah. Some people felt like kind of underwhelmed with uh, how Maddie beating up Cassie. People wanted more of that. I don't think we needed it. I think the one, yeah. I think the one slap was enough. I the literally like audibly the, said, "Oh, yeah." Like, I was like, "Oh," and the, the, out loud throwing her against the wall. Yeah, that's enough. You know, bro, that's, that's enough. enough. Yeah, we're gonna fucking kill her. Yeah, yeah. What do you, yeah, beat her to a pulp. Like uh, what's his name did? Um, Nate. Well, yeah, Nate or Ash even to, with Cal. Like after every hit, I was yeah. like, "Okay, he's done. He's done. He's done." And you just kept yeah. hitting him. I'm like, "Yo, like we did see that with Ash. Like he got aggressive a lot, yeah. right? But he was to a hot stab head. him though, and immediately, like it was like not no torture, no nothing. It just immediately went to like I'm just gonna to stab him in the neck. neck, maybe like hit him with a bat, yeah. you know, like beat him yeah, up again, or the I, back of the knife, he, and then then maybe stab him a little bit, but like not to just straight to the neck, like very yeah. very quick, very subtle. But very, I do like, get the emotion of like you you're trying to. Screw us over, but and we helped a very you. Rush decision, like yeah. They just got out of it in a way. They were getting out of. It. If they you tell me it was in the it. moment, like the cops are raiding in, yeah. and they're like, "Fuck, this is it." Yeah. And like because of you, then I, he stabs I feel like them. That would have been more believable. Yeah, yeah. Like the cops raid in when they barge in. That's when he stabs on. They shoot Ash yeah, as like a yeah. "fuck you." Like you, you, you. This is what you, you did. Messed us up, and not like know, oh, yeah. we're kind of throwing this guy's caught in in the corner. Let me stab you now. Yeah. 
Yeah, because the way I thought he was going to go out, they barge in, he stabs him, they shoot him. Yeah. As like, a, oh, fuck this guy. Like, oh, look what you're shit. trying to turn us in. Doom. And then and then that's when the cops shoot him, and then Ashtray dies, and Fez just there. Yeah. But I feel like, like it was too much. Like, you, you, you're you out of it. You're, and I you're, think it's really for the tried suspense. They to do like a curveball suspense type situation where they're like, okay, situation seems handled. Fez is like, I'm heading out. Yeah. You got to go too. And all of a sudden, Ashtray gets up and just... Okay, because like, I feel like whoa. that would have been more like like hectic, more like oh shit, like the cops barge in, they see the guy stabbed there, like like they literally see Ash stab him. Yeah, like, yeah it's then like Ash has stood up, and then all of a sudden you see like the door. I can see the scene in my head. You see yeah. the door open. Ash sees the cops, and then just he just stabs him. Like and gets and angry in that him. moment is more believable. Like, but I guess a defense then, to that boom. right is. How do the cops know when to go in if he's still alive in there? Yeah. That's the argument. Yeah. Maybe they get his phone and destroy it. that becomes it. a loophole. <laughs> yeah. Unless they get... Ash, like, breaks his phone or something, and then he starts beating up, roughing him up, like, like oh, oh, what are you trying our, to turn us in, you know? Yeah, 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 And then the cops come in, and then Ash is in the heat of the moment. He's I like, never Fuck understood you. the Boom. phone thing, bro. I, I, like, it, it, like, now that we're discussing it, it makes more sense, because they never really showed, like, either, like, that phone call... Uh, a screen and yeah. then like it goes black and then he puts it down or like it was like a recording or a voice memo or whatever it was like, just tapped like they're listening like it's easy to do that I would assume yeah, they yeah. listen yeah, they because, listen to my because, phone all the time because uh, <laughs> after he stabbed them yeah. because after he stabbed them they're trying to keep him quiet yeah that was a good scene like that was cool like oh shit like you know keeping him quiet so they don't and, hear and, and that, but, they st- but they still went in because all he hears like no wait and then Goes dead silent. Yeah, for and like they, he destroyed Ash, the phone. No, Ash, no, Ash, no. He destroyed the phone, and they were gonna go in because they're like, okay, we lost signal. Yeah, we gotta go in, and That's they saw that he one, was dead. Bro. That's a bad one. But I did like that scene of him like keeping him quiet. I I get that. It, yeah. It's just picking your battles. Yep. Like, yep, yep. Do you, I like that suspensefulness, yep. but at what cost? Does that make? Yeah, does it make <laughs> sense what Ash did? Yeah. It kind of they kind of sacrificed his character a little bit. His like the. Which, I mean, he was an enjoyable character, man. I mean, I liked Ash. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree with like killing him off, but I think how they did it, I get like the scene, like the scene was yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They I had know, to, they had saying. to like kind of like like dumb down his character for that moment. For that, yeah. but when and for the suspense, yeah, oh, because they could have had him roughing him up, destroy the phone, be like, oh, what the fuck are you trying to do? You're trying to turn us in, and he's kicking his ass. Then, the, then they barge in, and then and he stabs he's like, him. He gets and they angry. have that moment. Yeah. Fess is like, you know, and he has Ash, that no, moment no, no, looking no, no. around. He's yeah. like, oh, you did this. Like, you're yeah. turning us in. Yeah. And then Stabs. he kills him. He's like, fuck this. Yeah. And then he starts taking out guns and shooting and shit. Yeah. And then they kill him on the spot. Yeah. Then they take down Fez and all that. Now, is it as suspenseful or as, you know, emotional as Fez being on the ground and he's seeing him no, the last time? Don't shoot. No, don't yeah. yeah. It's not. But I think you got to make. I think he should have made that sacrifice of just going mm-hmm. the more realistic route. Than yeah, yeah. the emotional route, you know, yeah. because that, yes, the, it was very emotional. He's on the ground, the shoot, you know, his last shootout. He still could have done that. You know, he runs in the back and, shooting and, at him. And also, uh, after he shot the cop, he dropped the gun. The cop wouldn't just shoot him in the head. Like That's that. another thing, too. He dropped the gun after that. And then they shot him in the head, of course. Yeah. A cop wouldn't <laughs> just, yeah. like, like, you aim for the body. Like, not like, ah. Yeah, like, like, he <laughs> execution right. See the dot just slowly go up. Yeah, like, like you, you hear the you, shot. You, you a kid to, and he dropped the gun. Yes, he killed the cop, but he dropped the. If you tell me it was in the middle of the action, that's why I thought. I think all this needs to be in the midst of an action. Mm-hmm. Thing. Yeah, because the thing is, he shot the cop. And then he was looking at Fez. He was crying, and, and now he sees the laser going up. Yeah, that's where it gets like well. That's yeah, what I, I mean. I get I it because yes, he just shotgunned the shit out of a. You know, yeah. Yeah. I, I get it from like but, a but is, team headshot, perspective, you know. A headshot, dude, that's like fucking Call of Duty shit. Yeah, man. but I, yeah. I get like, it from the cop perspective, where I feel like you know, if you're in a situation, yeah, you shoot like, out like, like that, like, you see your buddy guy. go down in front of you. But how long it took, like, though? Yeah. Yeah. But, but it was for the dramatic. Is, but the thing is, like in a real life scenario, like the cop would get in trouble for that because you you did kind of like execute someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you yep. executed. Yep. Again, they sacrificed the logistics in those things for the dramatic effect. No, it was great. Like yeah. and and he really captured a shootout really well. Yeah, that like like, like the like raid the, was so good. The yeah. raid and and the, the shootout. All it was great. It was really good, but he did sacrifice that the the logical thinking of these characters to get that. When, I get it. I mean, I get it. I understand it. 
it was still well done, but you have to let it go. You have to let it go. I think that's the emotion everybody's dealing with post this episode is also that little like like it didn't have to go down this way. Mm. I think everyone at some level is feeling it like him this dying was just is totally a, a fine. Very, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was the way it didn't he have died. to go down that way. Because I did feel like they dumbed it down. Yeah, for the dramatic effect, yep. which it did. He did great. Yep. He did great, and it. it was really yeah. good. But I kind of had to like let go of some things. I had to like. Ah, just all right. I just suspend my disbelief. A scene of Lexi finding out some way. Yeah, I would have like now. I mean, because now well, we don't I guess know. They, now they've yeah. left it in the open. Now she's gonna find out at some point. Season three, like, season, all, that's all season all three that's stuff. Be, like, like it's probably gonna start with Fez in the hospital. Yeah, like him, like because you know because he, he got shot. Yep. And then Rue shows up, Lexi, and yeah, you have a whole yeah, other season. Was a scene of like, yo, Lexi, Fez, you know, just or like, or like or checking like, like, like the news or something, and it comes out. I don't know, yeah. like just like. Like, like season, not one, though, season one ended the same way when it was it, Fez and they were going to go see Miles. Yep. You don't see oh, the yeah, killing. Yeah, it yeah. ended like that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like he tends to do that. And then season two, you know, took off from there. So he tends to yeah, do that. I feel like season three is going to start right. All in right all, a, a solid yeah. ending, I think, to the, the oh, season yeah. for sure. Great. Se- season one or season two for you? Oh, two, two is way better. Yeah, dude. Two, two. Because one, in I terms wasn't. Of, I I wasn't a big fan of one. Yeah. I, I kind of stopped watching midway. I was like, yeah. oh, this show's like kind of mainstream. I was yeah. like, eh, I'm, I'm not really feeling it. Yeah. And, but a season two really is like it season really, two. I feel like every episode had something that's like, oh, like, so crazy. But you know, you know so what it is good. too. A season two focused more on the more important characters. Yep. Yeah. Like, because season one, it was like a little bit too much of like side plots I didn't give a fuck about. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I really don't care. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't care about the football dude. With his journey, because like, I don't know. Yeah, it, a lot of people. Really oh, McKay. That's true. McKay. Yeah. But it made sense. And then Cassie, okay, but though. what happened with like? I I wish they would have tapped a little bit into like how McKay feels about Nate and Cassie. Yeah, but I, I guess McKay's always been a very like. But the thing is, he, like, because he would have heard about it somehow. Because I know That's people true. wanted more you know? of him in the show, but at the same time, he's in college. That guy yeah. is somewhere else. So, so out of the whole situation. Yeah, like, yeah, he's so like out of it. But like, I wish, I wish, like, because you know how he was with like the whole like. Like dude was dude was like a little bit of he was kind of dumb. He was soft almost. Yeah, he was soft, way, but like, also like kind of dumb. Like he had those weak. emotional moments. Like he had like he was in a frat. Like first, like it's very rare for an athlete to also be in a, in, in a right. frat. But then like to have the same hazing that they do, like where he's getting pinned down, like yeah, all everybody yeah. in front of your girl. Dude, man, that, that's that just like was yo, so like he was just mentally at that point weak. you like you you leave the frat. Like I think as a person <laughs> you're like yo, like you're gonna do that. Like don't pull that shit again. Yeah, you know? yeah, like. He was mentally no, and very and soft. And so, like, I would love to have had seen that confrontation with him and his best friend. And, like, Nate obviously just shrugging it off. And because he was saying only to McKay, one. like, hey, you're soft. Yeah. You know, like, you're is, just the not. Thing is, it's tough because the thing it's is, McKay, so many characters. The thing is, McKay is not in high school. He's yeah, in college. He's in college now, yeah. So it's like, how, how are you going to bring him in? Back into the scene. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he's in college. Why would he, I get why it. be hanging Episode out I feel like they definitely sense. will tap into it I think in season so. three. Maybe. Because episode one. At least a little bit. At least yeah. a little bit. Because in episode one of this season, yeah. he's at the New Year's well, party. Oh, yeah. And you remember he tries talking to Cassie again, which I think she was kind of like not into it. Yeah, she didn't she's want, already messing with him. And, and, you know, they she, she had, had that abortion, abortion, which they yeah. don't mention anymore here. But you would think after an abortion, like you're kind of done after yeah, that. You know, That's she kind of wanted line. the kid. That's kind of the line. Yeah, she yeah. wanted the kid. She, he didn't. He didn't. And What's well, always the, a weird situation, right? Like, especially when you're both kind of like on opposite ends of the thing. It definitely ends the relationship. Yeah. If the guy's like, no, you got to like. The, he tried talking to her and she was like, eh. And yeah, then the yeah. Nate scene, you know, with him. I, yeah. I, but I, after I that, I don't see why he would come back. I just. Yeah. After I, that, I it's like, okay, go do your thing. Because I feel like he was brought in. It kind of ended his storyline, I guess. Yeah. I feel like in season one, he was there for Cassie. Yep. And, and, and then they, they were showing up. Cassie's kind of like how she is when she's in a relationship. Yeah, and they were yeah. kind of built leading up yeah, on and, that. And, yeah, and yeah, once that and once that ended, his arc was done. That's it. Like, okay, now makes you're sense. in college. You're yep. doing your own thing. Yeah. Because because how how they're, oh he's gonna drive all the way down there all the time. Like, and you're not gonna do scenes of just him dealing with college because that's not relevant no, to what's going on. He's not even really a school. main character. Even in season one, he wasn't really a yeah pivotal character. He was he was there for Cassie. His sake. story affected. Cassie, that's yeah. why it was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, also, uh, I was surprised that whole thing with Maddie and the babysitter. I thought that was gonna go somewhere. Yeah, I thought so too. She gave her that dress. I thought so too. Yeah, because and also I wanted to see if like she knew that she was kind of doing the whole dress up. No, thing no, I because I, I think or I they were gonna. There, there was a scene. I think it showed a clock, but I think it had a camera. 
Yeah. Oh I shit. I think it had a camera. So, so, cause that's why she gave her the dress. She gave her the dress because cause she knew Maybe that, that she that liked that sign was that like, oh, she's seen me dress up as like you know. I'll dress I, up I, thought, I, thought, I thought I thought it was gonna be a whole. I thought like, they because like up. there was that scene yeah. of like her walking to the house and like she's walking from yep. a place maybe she probably shouldn't be walking from. You don't know where she's. Well, like it's like. She sees Maddie walking. I don't yeah. I, kinda, I thought I was going like, to go like I thought they were going to I thought they were going to hook up. Yeah. You don't remember That's when she was like, "Oh, zip up down my dress for me." But, yeah. it was, but it was very like sexual though. Yeah. yeah. It was like weird. The pool yeah. where they were in the pool together. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was like, "Wait, is this like leading just to like something? something? Yeah. Like what the hell is going on?" Or maybe she true. just understood her like as a person, person maybe. where she's I, at. I don't know, it just it just came off very sexual. It did come off sexual. I don't know. It's just like a whole like What's going on here? But it didn't go anywhere. Sam, where, 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 where? Come on, let's yeah, what's yeah. I was kind of curious to see what happened there. <laughs> I yeah, because like I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I was, and it, it didn't go anywhere. She gave her the dress, so that's kind of I think her knowing, like, hey, I know what you're you doing, doing, but here you go. Yeah, and that's it. But like that's kinda like yeah. yeah, like I get it. Or maybe it does end up leading to that. Maybe you she's think they're gonna go? <laughs> I don't know. I'm saying come like on, Sam, maybe, maybe, on, Sam, maybe her, her. Sam, her, you're watching this because you know, like, think about it. If you're uh let's say like a rich housewife and you find your babysitter is now going through your stuff, your first reaction is to let her go. Right. You're like, yo, you're going through things when you're not really supposed to. You're not telling mm-hmm. me about it, whatever. It's behind my back. I notice you're doing this. It's almost like, yo, you're, you're, you're cut off. You're done. You're dead. But instead she gifts the dress. So like in a way it's almost like, is she inviting more? She's like, you know, you know what I mean? Like she's like, yeah. And they had I don't conversations know. I don't know. After it was, too. it didn't really have yeah. like a, like a, it was kind of just there. What well, was the really motive? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Cause like she does ha- tell her to stay. They had some wine. They got yeah. in the pool. Yeah. Like clearly she was like yeah. being nice. Yeah. So I thought like, is this lady trying to hook up with her yeah. or is she just trying to like understand her or yeah. something? Or you what know? was the, re- yeah. I don't know. So maybe she was just there as a mentor figure. Who knows? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, and then they talked about her issues and stuff, but again, a lot of a lot like of little, little things. I think for obviously season three, it's very hard to make, like, it's very hard to guess where certain situations yeah, are going to go. because you see season they're one. never going to go anywhere, you know? Because you could easily just, that's it, it's done. You yeah. don't even realize that season three starts and you're all, all of a sudden you're talking about something else. That's what I'm worried about. That's about what I'm like, worried hey, about. this situation happened. What about this situation? Yeah. Like, you don't really think about That's what like, I'm worried about because I want him to kind of close these little, yeah, these little loopholes open. that we have. He puts someone in jail. Yeah. The yeah. guy is wrongfully like in jail, like, yeah. and it's hard. It, yeah, we're with self admission and yeah. then like a verified witness. So yeah. now that guy's like done. Yeah, maybe this is his way of like, it, in an artistic way, saying sometimes things are just left unfinished. Just the, the the and you know it's the just hard reality. Yeah, yeah, the hard, hard reality is we're we'll never gonna touch uh, on that again. You know, and just kind of leave it that way. And it's like I, I that. do hope that um, this show doesn't. Like I feel like four seasons is enough. I really hope it doesn't like overstay its welcome. No, nah, I don't oh, see true. it going. I don't see I, it going I, long. Because I because after a while, I was like, okay, how much more? Like, I don't really see it going. I honestly agree with you. Because like, no. like you're you're in high school. Yeah. Like how much more are you gonna do? Are you gonna carry this into? Co- I, and I doubt they keep the cast and everybody for longer than a few months. I I, I think yeah. I think four seasons. I think four yeah, is max. So yeah. Because you don't want to overstay. I don't think they're gonna stay long. I think three four. But season three has a has a lot of you know because it has a little to to this season. It's it's, it's a big. Yeah. You know, and is, it is, gonna be, to, is it gonna be the same? Is it, he's gonna go back to that season one feel? Yeah, like like, like what's the like, on, like, yeah. like like what's the vibe for yeah. season three now? You know, yeah. So like that's and also like where's Nate before. gonna go? Like there's a his, lot of yeah. things. There's a lot of things that are still open, and I it, which is fine because like this, you know, we gotta wait till season three. Um, I don't know. I feel like that the two years. I feel like that's gonna kind of hurt it a little bit. No, nah, that'll be fine. It, two years makes total sense. A show like this at this caliber between the set pieces, it took them a month just to shoot episode five. That's true. Because it's not just, you know, your little, there's a lot of the shots, the set pieces that go into the show. I just hope he just doesn't forget about the Lori, the the cop stuff. Yeah. I think Lori's going to get reintroduced. It has to with the whole Fez situation. Now she takes over in the drug business. Fez is gone. Yeah. What's Fez's future? Yeah. Yeah. And then what's she going to do now? Like, she's kind of runs the town now, you know? She'd be the head honcho that yeah. people are looking for. Yeah. So, a really good season, man. This this season beats season one by a long shot for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I enjoyed this season so much. Yeah. 
Um, Defin- well, definitely. I don't know if I'd you feel the same. You. You'd like season you. two more? I'd agree, with you. I'd agree with you. I think simply because it was so much more... Uh, there was so much more going on, and it yeah. was so much deeper and, and, yeah. and heavier than season yeah. one. Yeah, and you know, you get you get those heavy vibes from season one also, but like it's just it's another level. Yeah, and I think he cranks it up, and and it just you know, it 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 really tackles. What would you say is your favorite episode of the season? I would say it was probably five. Five, huh? Yeah, oh. but just yeah, because the, the, it was, the acting, the acting, yeah, the whole like the whole intro. I yeah, think dude. the five. I still I still laugh about when Jules was like. Whatever, whatever. I was love like, you. Like you cheated on her like five minutes ago. Somebody yeah, put on dude. Twitter. Um, like, every time Jewel says "I love you," I just have to roll my eyes. Yes. Like when she sat down next to her in this episode, "I love you." It's <laughs> like I'm uh, done. Uh, I did like that scene. Uh, I love how there's just no words. He he showed it visually of uh when she tells she Jules tries to talk to her oh, and yeah. Rue just sits there for a second. Kisses her on the forehead and then walks, walks away. away. I love that. It's like her saying, "Like I, I gotta that. just keep doing my thing." Yeah, you know, like, this is not the time for. Yeah, because that right. emotional attachment is what fucked her up in yeah, season one. It, the thing is, Jules didn't really help her. No, she did. She she, she she was everything wrong. Yeah, like 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 she was just always. Like, That's why episode five, when she went off on her. Yeah. She she was because because at the end of the day you, when you left her at the train station Dude, that's what that's so what heavy, made her want to do drugs again or when you saw her doing well and that like Pissed you, you off. felt like oh I, I'm like your chaperone and she started being a total asshole remember that yeah. and I was like nah man that's not yeah. cool yeah because she let the pressure of like everybody telling her hey you're like the best thing that ever happened to Rue yeah you know, kind of sober yeah and she kind of like took it instead of like in a good way of like hey like I'm being this blessing to somebody who's been so messed up she's like oh she took it completely wrong like why should i be the one or yeah like, this is too much pressure almost and she gets and drunk and starts telling her a bunch of shit yeah and like kind of fucks she her goes up to new, the city i don't know if the city was new york I, I mean i don't know where she went but this, she wants she goes to the city and then she hooks up with like the yeah dorm mate of her friend or whatever yeah it's both of weird. them yeah weird yeah, fucking weird. <laughs> it's, weird. <laughs> it's just like I'm not so having. She it. does. She does. She does her wrong. Say it into the camera. I, I'm not having. I'm it. not having. It. Stop. Yeah, this. like like stop this. Yeah, like she. <laughs> the, and and then the part of her and the guy, the fucking concert dude. What's mm. his name? Elliot. Yeah. yeah him. She's like cheating on Rue right before she gets there, and then like yeah, tries to like, act all like. <laughs> No, oh, I yeah. like I fucking love yeah. you. I want to help. Like fuck, every you, time I saw her, you were do just something cheating that was on wrong her. By Rue, I was like, yeah, like, again, bro. Like at this point, you don't deserve. You don't deserve. <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, uh, Dump that bitch. I Look, deuces. I deuces. gotta say, I think yeah. my the most impactful episode was five. No, the acting. That 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 that's the her, impact that, on that's that her, episode. Like, her so Emmy. Like, that's her Emmy. Yeah. Like, right yeah. there. Just give it to her. But and I really though really. Every episode is so good, though, right? Because in episode four, you had Cal's big yeah, moment dude. when he just goes off on the family. Yeah, dude. And his... That little peeing on the car, like, floor moment. And, but just the back and forth of him going to that bar I wonder, and it was the, shot so the well. the third brother of Nate? They never know. showed the third brother. It was the third brother? I, yeah, yeah, I never the picture. Like, yeah. It was like three. Holy yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. So I wonder who's going to be the third brother. Like, it's going to be like a big... Uh, Reveal. Like, yeah. yeah. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Wow, season I didn't even three. think of that. Wow. Season yeah, three, twenty twenty four. I, I gotta say the five time. five on, yeah, two years. It's a long time. But I got uh, episode, episode five, five is the best. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. It, that is like, every episode is so good. It's it, it's so almost good. like it, I always like people ask me, yo, which one's like the best Marvel movies? And you know you have like a favorite from that Avengers series, yeah. right? But it's they're all really good because they lead to something else. Yeah. And like I feel like every episode is the same way. You ask like what's the best episode? Yeah, like five was super heavy, but like you need Every single episode for yeah, the next episode. But then you love episode four because yeah. then there's good moments in that. Episode exactly. six. And there's bits and pieces in every single one. Like yeah, with the that play. moment in the beginning of that like season with Fez and Lexi and like you you like it was viral. Yeah, it was a viral moment. Yeah. It, went, it was all over the place. That was kind of like the you know, the a lot of people sharing that was kind of like, Oh, I should probably check this show out. Yeah. Like and then that got me into, you know, once I heard like also Angus's story, I was like, I was more intrigued to yeah, see like the whole right. show and like so that like you have that great moment and you have like the moment of like Fez beating up Nate and it's mm-hmm. like, you know, like these where Nate had it coming. Like, Especially after rewatching season one, you're like, yeah, because there's a lot of points. Kick yeah, his a, ass. Yeah. There's a lot of points where you're like, you know, you, you you see the pain that Nate's also dealing with, but then he's also the same asshole that his dad yeah. is to him, to everybody yeah. that's around him. Like it's all of a sudden like it's on his terms. Like, he does have an arc, I think. Um 
he's not the same. He has crazy no, moments. He's clearly sure, no. still not all there. And let's not like let's definitely leave room for him to possibly also be gay in the future. Yeah. Like I don't think he's a hundred percent straight. Yeah, no. I like think they say confused. sexuality is a spectrum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see that coming here. Yeah. Let's leave room. I thought you were gonna say he was gonna kill somebody. He's like, <laughs> let's leave room here. No, that I think his dad gay. really like. <laughs> <laughs> his dad really like like. Yeah, messed him up. Messed him up. up. Yeah, and and messed him up. He had, you know, like he went super psycho, and he like him telling Jules like everything I told you I meant. Yeah, and it was like him and but him imagining his life with uh, uh, Cassie. Yeah, like him like married and like all of that, and then like this moment of like her dad, his dad kind of being in the picture weirdly like it yeah, was just he's very having odd. nightmares and very odd. Yeah, he's all well, he's all he messed, messed up. up. He's all messed up. <laughs> The whole scene of him like banging his head on the floor, like I forget which episode that was with. That's like, uh, episode one, uh, season one, uh, the finale of season one. Yeah, there you go. That was just see when you binge watch it, you don't remember. It, it's all blur. It's all one. Yeah. And then you have the most recent episode, and it's like yeah. I remember that episode. Oh man. But yeah, it's just, that's just great season. Yeah. Uh, good, f- great, great finale. Yep. Had Those moments. two little things, yeah. you know, we kind of have to let go. Yeah, that still whole great. Uh, Lexi Rue scene still, I like. I was like, yeah. how did you watch the play and in the play? But you take that out, I still think just a simple scene of just Rue calling Lexi, yep. saying the play was awesome. Yeah. Lexi does really good in this. Everybody does so well. It was. I think this was like also a Lexi episode, even though she wasn't the focal point of it. Yeah, she she, was she became the main. Yeah pivotal part of the plot yeah. in these last few episodes because yeah. her play plays a huge part in yeah everything. it was all through like her point of view yeah, yeah. and that was great that, yeah, was, that was great, great yeah. Um, but yeah and I just gotta wait till season 3 2 years from now but anything else on Euphoria yeah, it's a waiting game now I know this, we gotta wait man it's a wait you gotta wait but I, I really enjoyed this season uh, I think it's it passes uh, season 1 it's almost its own thing. Yeah, that's you know, yeah. and I do think that season one was about her leading to that relapse, but like with her emotional attachment, and then that relapsing. Season two is hit her hitting rock bottom just yep. through her addiction again. Like we saw seeing her with that really bad addiction, like where bad. it can lead. And I do think season three is going to be like her redemption recovery. Yeah, where it's her. Was season Paying five the, the one price. With the Jolly Rancher? The beginning Episode of the Jolly Rancher? Episode five, uh, six. I think that was, was that the beginning was of she's six. She's just like distraught about Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was yeah. dope to me also. Yeah. It was one of my favorite moments in this because it like... It's so And simple. then she finally opens it when she's like... She has this like heavy weight of like, I got to apologize to yeah. Ali. And then she finally does that. And that was she's a great like, oh, scene. <laughs> Jolly Rancher, open, boom, done. Yeah. Like, And she just feels happy about like achieving yeah. that moment. I thought that was very like... Symbolic. Yeah, that was and a it, and great those, scene. Yeah, it was a great too. scene. That whole Ali part was yeah. Well, that quote that he said. Oh uh, yeah. Um, yeah, you have uh, uh, you have reason to doubt, or like uh, uh, about what was it? Gia, uh, right? The, like, no, on the phone when she apologizes and he's like, oh, oh, so you forgive me? That yeah, that line when she's like, oh, but you forgive me? Uh, that, he says yeah. the hour is certain to come, so we must forgive graciously. That's so good. I thought that was such a good line. That's all he had to say. It's a bore. Uh, the hour is certain to come, so we must forgive graciously. Like, we're all going to have yeah. that moment that we need it. Yeah. So, like, learn to forgive, that's basically. True. Um, that's true. And I, I, I think that's that was a great line. And I think he's I like a great scene. character. Yeah, he was a great character. Um, he has a great, great character. Yeah. And I, I, I want to see more of him. Yeah. And I want to see more. I think more. we'll see that uh, kind of mentorship thing if she decides to not relapse yeah with her, with her. Ali, like you'll see like in ali will probably try and help with the lori situation maybe like that i imagine and then the, there's a i feel like there's definitely a play like with rue's mom and ali at some point i just yeah, don't know they're if gonna they're, they're yeah. gonna hook up yeah that's gonna happen yeah, it's gonna happen and then maddie with the uh What's her name? With the, <laughs> with the baby stuff. <laughs> with the, uh, oh, with baby the baby mama. Yeah, with the baby, baby mama. mama. The baby but mama. great, great um, season. Yeah. Great acting. Um, yeah. Zendaya's going to win an Emmy. It's calling it now. She's doing great. And um, yeah, anything else before we close this off? This wraps from my end. I think we hit it. We hit 50. We hit an hour. Yeah. Oh. I was two, two camera class. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Two camera clicks, you know. You're we hit an hour. hour today on this finale, on this season. Uh, it's going to feel weird. I, I was kind of getting used to it. I missed that. Sunday. I missed that every Sunday because I used to be Game second, of Thrones. It's second behind Game of Thrones. And that's so funny because HBO felt, or just in general? Yeah, yeah like HBO, yeah. the most watched shows. Yeah. It's Game of Thrones and this one. Because that's what it felt like. It brought me back. That's a top one. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's hard to and it brought yeah, me back. Everybody to those says days. Game of Thrones. Like, if you ask, like, yo, what's your favorite TV show? A lot of people oh, say Game of Thrones. I don't know about now. Yeah. yeah. Well, because of season eight. I mean, uh, before that, it was. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but season eight ruined it. It brought me back to those. It did botch the whole thing. Yeah, it did. But it brought me back to those days of, you know, like every Sunday, nine o'clock, get ready. You Game of Thrones. Yeah. And for this, the traditional Zendaya. of like you know looking yeah. forward to a show. It was so I, fun. I, I do miss Game of Thrones in that sense. Like yeah. That like even though excitement, anticipation. And we got we kind of got that here. It's a completely different show, but everybody just being like, "Oh shit, it's Sunday." Euphoria like what's Sunday. gonna happen? And then everybody going on Twitter the right Super after Super Bowl, bro. It's like you have the Super Bowl. The people were like, "Yo, it's Euph- it's Super Bowl Sunday, but it's Euphoria Sunday." And like people exactly. Were just, and then that hype of that show, you, you know, finish the episode and you go on Twitter and everybody's talking yeah. about it. It's cool. It, it brings like a sense of like this community. And it was fun because we, we don't get that a lot. No. Everything's binging, right? You want your binge a show, it's done and you move on. Like the Kanye documentary. Really I good. need to talk. Uh, yeah. Really it's a, is it a series it's really or a movie? Good. It's a docu-series. Think, three episodes. Yeah, I think it's like three episodes. Two seasons drop. I think the third one drops either to m- uh, Wednesday. We need to watch that. Yeah, yeah I need to watch really that. It's really good. Oh really man! But yeah, yeah, that'll be the next uh, thing. Euphoria is great stuff. A great show. Great stuff. Great Very show. just impactful mm-hmm. is the word I would 100%. say. Like what you said, it's better than most dare videos or dare oh, lectures for sure. And so I almost like, I don't know if you like. Would you rec- like? I don't know. Like if for a person who's going through that type of stuff, would you even recommend a show a like show this? Like I have that? no I have idea because no there's a lot of people like that. You know, Mike. Uh, with, uh, from Impulsive, May, yeah, uh, Mal, like, Mas- Ma- like Malak, whatever. His last he said name the same. Is. He's like, he said the episode five messed him up. Watching the show yeah, dude. brought back a lot of like triggering emotions. Yeah, so I would imagine for people going through that, it's hard. So I can ima- yeah. um, I mean, even even normal people, I wouldn't like. I, I'm not sure I would highly recommend binging the show because like you again, you can get in like it's very dark taxing, and deep and taxing. Yeah. It's tax. It's emotionally taxing. 100%. Yeah. And you know, you you know what they say. Not to get like really mental aspect here, but like uh-huh. you know what they say when you what you feed your mind and what you watch yeah. like can have an impact on yeah. the way you are and your emotions and stuff like that. So like, uh, it's one of those shows you got to watch with caution and just watch with like spread it out. Yeah, don't binge it. it I would imagine it's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. It's, it's a just lot, heavy stuff. It's um, for me, I mean, I just love watching it just from a filmmaking aspect yeah, of course. the way it was yeah, I mean, every episode dude. I'm like how oh, like that shot so well even every scene is very intentional like yeah. you know and it's, except for you know one or two se- scenes we talked about yeah, here but yeah. like every single even those scenes are intentional and we I see guess the whatever, intent we, yeah, we see the intent in the way yeah. that he wants to take it so it's very filmmaking like and from from a filmmaking standpoint I think it's one of the best shows yeah, curated it's together up like there, every yeah. The lighting, yeah, the the yeah. cinematography, everything is just like that's even that looks that's so original. good. Like, I remember when it first dropped and like the how it took the internet by storm and how every yeah. single episode was a viral moment. It's because of those, the way that you know costume design, like yeah, everything, just everything. Like, the whole eye things popped up when yeah. after that show. You know, it, just it, amazing it popular, shots. Like it's just those things that speaks on the volume of the whole production yeah. as a whole. And it's so great from stuff that ang- from that angle. Like it's it's great stuff. It's a legendary show for sure. <sighs> All right, man. Well, th- thank you. Thank you so much for coming on, man. It was great yeah. to have you back. It's a pleasure. And um, a- any anything you want to add in there before no. we free wrap plug, it free up? Plug. Free plugs. Free no free plug. plug. No free plug. Coco Podcast. Coco Podcast. <laughs> Coco Podcast. <laughs> we're, we're, we're hosting a podcast together. It's pretty great. Yeah, um, yeah, check it out. But yeah, man, it was a pleasure having you on. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for watching and for listening. We appreciate it. Appreciate uh, feel free to like, subscribe. Uh, channel's growing we're follow. getting there and just little by little little by little and thank you for you all you guys the do feedback. almost all types of stuff yeah in terms of the film world like it's if anything is you know if you have a show that you guys like and that's very popular they mm-hmm. have a review for it usually. yeah man. yeah and i like, appreciate you guys are really all good the with feedback that. too yeah. on the, sh- the latest short film we did we got to do um, yeah. have you seen it you I haven't have seen, seen it? it we had to do like we had to there was a song we had to listen yeah. to for class yeah. right and it's like a score from like a movie uh-huh. and you have to write a story on it. On oh, that score? A, yeah. Oh, and wow. I wrote a little story. We filmed it. It was pretty cool. We got some check great it feedback. It's on the YouTube uh, yeah. Reminiscence. Thank you guys so much for watching and, and checking it out and all your great feedback. Love. Yeah. So much love in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all 
All right, guys. <laughs> till the next one. Bye. Peace.